upper body. Did I sound like Builder? Did I have you convinced? <laughs> Day three, Texas road trip, concrete pumping road trip 2024. And we caught up with Bill on the boom pump here. Happy to get to see a boom pump job. That was definitely on the list. Prime out position, waiting on mud. And I can smell the oil in the hopper from here. Good old diesel. Man, good. How are I you? need you to say the thing, Bill. You start the video. How do you say it? Good morning, everybody. Ah, I tried it. That sounds so much better. I was way off. What's this one? About four loads? Five loads? What? About four or five loads? Yeah. Funny, all of our stuff back home, it's all it's all basement. Wall footing yeah. and the slab on grade yeah. is real, real thin. Yeah. There we go. Mud is here. Try and catch Bill's prime. We'll see how Bill does it. Bill prime tutorial. So, got the dirt in. I heard you've been doing that longer than I have. I may have stolen that from you. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe. Borrowed. I don't know where I got it. <laughs> but dirt filled the bottom end just, and I sprinkled, you know, around the corners where it usually sets up. Right now we just use water, just straight water, and I just in the cylinder or whatever just to get it wet. Now, still that far or so up on the good material cylinder. And then I watch the concrete come onto the good. Yep. And, uh, so you don't know or hit it, but you don't take any strokes while you're spraying? No, okay. I know. That's, that's how I always think too, right? The problem in our market is it's a double-edged sword. People will pump everything, but they want to pump everything. Half a yard short, no, you wait for the balance. <laughs> but I'm not used to starting residential pours when it's dark like this. This is different for me. to maintain air in the cuff while we're moving the pump. What do right. you think? I think that'd be easy. And just mount it right on the steel line. Sure. And you know, just put another coupling or whatever. So it's nice and rigid. It's just a 90 degree valve, but yeah. You know what I said about those trials? Look how thin these are. Yeah, see back home, everybody's using the, the wide ones. So this is a common trial down here. Yeah, because you it's thin, you can really you can really turn your wrist and, and roll it around as the as the as the mud's tightening up. So I wonder if that's to do with the heat. 
with the heat down here, you guys' stuff probably kicks off quick all the time. Yeah, it goes pretty quick. It goes pretty quick, but you can really work it up. And you, can, you can really slick that off with these things. You know, when you're trowing, it's like a, like a trial machine. You're, you're, you're adjusting the blade every time. There's a, there's a, your, your borderline want to, want to pop rocks up, but you don't want to pop them up. Right. So you're right on the border of that, so each pass, but you can really you can really put this thing on the edge because it's spinner. It's, it's not as wide. It doesn't take as much torque to get that cut to come across. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab one of those and, and just bring it to the job site and just throw it to one of our guys and see what they say. One of these? Yeah. yeah. Tell Darren I said it to you. It'll, it'll, it'll be fine. And, and don't charge it to the company account, Darian. Right. <laughs> yes, yeah, so Bill and I were chatting about yesterday. He was mentioning with the air cuff, if there would be a way, when the pump goes out of PTO, you lose power to the air cuff solenoid, and by default, the air cuff releases. And we're talking about a way where you can have the air cuff not release for when you want to fold up, move the pump, reset up, and you want to maintain pressure in that cuff. So we kind of came up with was just a simple ball valve in line with the feed line of the cuff shut the ball valve to keep the pressure on the air cuff and then when you shut the pump down you've still got air air pressure on the system to keep that cuff uh, closed while you move the pump obviously the only thing you have to remember is when you move the pump to open that ball valve back up before you try and pump concrete again or else obviously the cuff isn't going to open but i think it was a uh, an easy, simple solution that we came up with. So, wouldn't be surprised if you see Bill uh, throw one of those together and show in a future video. It's a good idea. Okay, this is this has got the ugly sand in it, right? That, yeah. Is that man sand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll get some get some light here and show this stuff. We'll go over here where there's some light. That's that, uh, the manufactured sand that Jeff talks about quite often in his videos. See how coarse that stuff is? It's coarse and it's flat. And it's really uh, chippy looking. Makes pumping a lot more difficult. The, the mud that we had yesterday for the line pump, the sand is completely different. But yeah, this stuff is, uh, is a challenge. I would say that our sand back home is somewhere in between what I've seen so far in the line pump mixes here and what this stuff is like. I think our stuff is kind of right about in the middle. We don't get sand like that back home. That's all the manufacturer stuff, right? Same, this is the same, same we had yesterday. Is it really? Same color, same. It looks like all the sand is all like chippy looking. Or maybe that's just their small rock. You feel like it's, re it's really coarse. I don't know. Yeah, this is the same mug we had yesterday. Exact same mix. Without the ad mix and whatever that is. Really? God, it looks so different to me, huh? Well, there goes that theory. Slightly <laughs> drier. Wow, yeah, it looks so different to me. Interesting. Is this the same mix we line pumped yesterday? That's what Bill was saying. It's probably the same material, but I bet you that the rock ratio is bigger higher. Because it feels like it's got all the little chippy stuff, and we yeah. didn't have that yesterday, did yeah. we? No. Did we really? There was some in that, yeah. Oh, there was, but yeah. maybe not as much. Right. Okay. Because to me to feel it, it's like, yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I didn't get as intimate with yesterday's sample either. We're too busy doing science. Two trucks at a time to the pump. We would never, never be able to do this kind of uh, production back home. Just with the way that our, just the way that we are, what's the word I'm looking for here? Uh, the way that we're set up. 
back home. It would, you know, you, we just can't put it down this fast. We generally can't get supply this fast unless it's a big commercial for. But this is uh, it's night and day different from what I'm used to seeing. But it's very impressive how quick they do this. They're, they'll have this down and shoot at this rate, an hour and a half. Unreal. Is that two loads? He just pumped off two loads in like 10 minutes. <laughs> I've never seen that at home before. <laughs> what, uh... <laughs> I didn't even lock the bone. Sorry. So which one? Oh. That buckle. Oh, it doesn't quite. Won't quite stay in there. I tested a little bit. And I'm, I'm holding the big stake here too from last night. Yeah. <laughs> I tested a little bit, but Chris put it through its rigor. <laughs> Where do you like the RPM at on this one normally? Do you wind it right out or? I'm wide open. You are wide open. And, I mean, unless I'm getting into something tight or, right. you know, I need to pump slower. But even at that, you know, say I'm doing a little footing or whatever where you, you know, it's hard to, to stay right in it and you're not putting a whole lot of mud in it. Yeah. You know, a small one foot by one foot footing or something. Right. I'll leave the RPMs not full blast, about three quarters or whatever, and just turn the volume down. Okay. Because I think that, I could be wrong, <laughs> but I think that gives you more, you know, control speed. I think it does. The control speed, but the pump slow. Well, and it keeps it keeps the S tube shifting over nice and snappy. That's what I found if I run the RPM too low. Like you said, it starts to you don't get enough hydraulic flow. Right. For maximum performance, and we want maximum performance. Absolutely. So, what would you guys order for something like this? You request like four loads an hour. Or? I. Well, we don't order it, they do, but um, like this or whatever, they, they're pretty good about just send it, you know, send it off. It's so funny, I feel like back home, the reason why we can't do that is a lot of jobs we do. We get there and things aren't ready, things are in the way, like it just I, never... We do run into some of that or whatever. Um, a lot of times those customers tend to go away. Yeah. Or we tend to try and go away from them. Right. <laughs> That's kind of what I meant. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Some of them do go away on their own. Yeah. But. We tend to be busy for those customers. Right. And not busy working for them. <laughs> Too busy to get them. Was that our next guy? No, I think they're just... They're both out. washed. Yeah. What do those mixers hold? The drums look quite... Tan. They do hold 10 yards. Actually, I think they, I mean, not legally or whatever, I think they put 12 on. Really? Not legally, because it'll be spilling out all over and over the way. I feel like back home, our trucks that carry even 10 meter or 10 yard trucks, the well, drum is longer, I think, because the truck has to be longer because of our weight loss. Is that yeah, believe what it is? Because you'll have the, the frost. Well, we don't have frost in the, in the city where we're at, but we have some, we have some extremely anal restrictions on how far apart axles have to be, how much weight per axle. Like, yeah. it, it's, it can be a nightmare, especially for a bigger boom pump to try and get illegal we, for roads. They have some of that here or whatever, not nearly as bad as it is. States, right up north, different states. Yeah, it's whatever. like Minnesota, and a pump this size would have like two or three drop axles. axles. Yeah, it's yeah. insane, right? Oh, here we go. Here's our guy. Getting nervous, ready to pump one out. You like the hose right up about here, right? Yeah. <laughs> that way, when I grab a hold of it, pull that truck yeah, over yeah. on top of it, it hurts yeah. worse. It, that's something I've always wondered too, or whatever. Is a lot of videos or whatever um, with, you know, I keep the hose knee to top of the boots, ain't you know, 
So you guys it's like it a little lower here. Okay, where we are, it's kind of like, I swear it's wasted chest on commercials, yeah. on the commercial yeah. stuff. Yeah, and yeah. It, I was gonna yeah. say a lot of comments and stuff on videos or whatever, like, you're killing that guy with that hose that low, and I'm like, hell, if I get it above his knee, he takes off running. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't want it in my boots. I'm not putting bridges on. We're at the guys, they, they just wanna do this, the 10, 10 foot radius, let go, I'll meet you over here. Now, at the end of the day, they are covered in concrete. Right. Shit, oh yeah, man. this is it's commercial stuff, right? Yeah. So it's, it's a whole different. I don't know what Bill's actually doing on that. What it feels like to me out there, he'll just go straight the line I'm on. Yeah. So yeah. he's going, you know, between your grade stakes or whatever. Right. He's coming this way. Yeah. Just keep it right in the middle for him, and he'll yeah. just walk. He'll out. swing just side just, to side. It's the easiest yeah. hose guy you ever work with. Well, now there's no pressure. He's still going to yell at well, you. No, 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 yeah. no. Physically, physically. <laughs> that was coming yeah, anyway. Mentally, he'll wear your ass out. Yeah, <laughs> physically, it'll be easy on you. Shots at the helms. Oh, I just turned the air cuff on. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, the air cuff scared him. No, I hit, I hit the air cuff on instead of the pump on. It's in the wrong spot. Take care of the boys, man. I won't hurt you, at least not intentionally. Would you take the RPM up higher? You would. I would. And he likes to do a little bit of that with the hose, just keep it in the middle and he'll... As you're coming this way, Great stakes. Just keep it in the middle, okay. and, he's and he'll, he'll go side to side. I've never pumped this fast on a residential floor in my entire life. Maybe when I've pumped the hopper out, that's about it. <laughs> At the end of the job, I'm like, damn thing off. Oh yeah, no, this is fast for me, man. Oh yeah. Bill and I are interviewing a new pump operator for our company. I'm pretty sure he lied on his resume. <laughs> I've been running the cement train for 10 years. They put me in a pretty tough force situation here. Do I've been really thrown to the wolves here with a really tough four on my first day. <laughs> you can't you can't beat an old rolling fold, man, for doing stuff like this. It just makes sense. If I was doing work like this most days, I would I would want a rolling fold. Or or a five section RZ. What did we what did we get out of ten and don't lie? Other other than the little air cuff blunder. <laughs> I'm other, next master. Other than the air cuff blunder, I give myself a six and a half, solid six and a half. We did okay. Just happy didn't plug. Oh you gotta go catch some pigs. Thank you for letting me run your beautiful machine, sir. You bet, you bet. Did all. I'm happy with myself I didn't break it. I'm glad you didn't break it. Ninety percent of that <laughs> splash is for me. The Canadian guy keeping the hose too high. <laughs> So, when I got out of high school, these are the guys, Jay, walking to go the truck, and Matt, this, this is who I went to work with at her when I got out of high school. They oh, got so, me into concrete. Oh, so you're placing and finishing. Mm -hmm. Are you thanking them for that, or are you uh, are you well, trying to figure out how to we, take this? We figured out if it's a curse yet or not. <laughs> and this is all their bro his brothers, and brother and Chris's brother-in-law, but this is all family here. It's the only way to do it in this business, honestly, to keep have good people around, and yeah. 
Well, you just threaten them with a good, they're not going to get a Christmas present if they don't show to work. Christmas presents? What? Yeah. What? Christmas present? Like when Bill got the air cuff. Christmas yeah. presents, yeah. Present. Like yeah. 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 Christmas presents exactly. right? Yeah, okay. Okay, I get it. Okay, well, we're going to run off and trap some pigs. All right, Bill. It was awesome meeting you if I don't see you again. We'll see you again. Soon. Yeah, we'll be back. Look at that sunrise. Oh, that was a beautiful sunrise. So, Andy, this is Scott Sutherland. Canada, nice, nice to meet Vancouver. you. How are you doing? And this is Ian. Nice to meet you. They, uh, they bought concrete up there. Okay. They come to hang out for the day. Bill. Bill? We've got no happy We came down here to see how it's done. Oh, yeah. Andy and I, we, we was trial by fire when we got started. So, Andy, Andy and I started Muddy Feet. We were actually a band. And we had all these panties and leftover shirts from the merchandise. And then when we started the pump company, we just brought that over to the to the pumping part of it. So it's, yeah, what do they call it? Cross marketing? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if you wear the panties, it's cross something else. It could be. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we won't go there. We're politically correct. And uh, we had we had a fun summer, the fun the first summer we, we had the pump. What was the first pump? A line pump or a boom pump? Line. Oh yeah, we didn't get the most, so it's 15. How much hose did you lose in the first summer? We didn't lose it. Because we were using steel pipe. You guys were using steel pipe? We had two. You were you were misguided, my friends. We started out with 200 feet of four inch steel, 100, 100 feet of rubber, four inch. Yeah. And then we had 100 feet of three inch. You had four inch rubber? Did you find it tough to gain customers? No. You show up with your four inch pipe? We know no better. I mean, yeah. So I don't think half the customers yeah, that's true. That's true. But you had that pop running across the yard. It was ridiculous. You know, it's kind of good when you're starting out, though, because it makes it, uh, it's it's tougher to oh. stuff it up. But these, no, these mixes, because we, we, we would come to the slab, drop it up, put, put the reducer at the slab, yeah. and run the three inch in the slab. So we're plugging the whole time right there at that reducer. Oh, the redu yeah. So after the first, basically the first year, we, we sold all the four inch and bought all three inch. You find it plugs less running, reducing the three right off the back end on the line pump? Yes. Uh, yeah, I, I think it does right too. There. All your yep. pressure's right there, so. And if it does plug, you know, it's right there in that same spot every time, yeah. so. Yeah. The mix is the best for you. You gotta, you need to. So this is what we did yesterday. Oh, look at this. <laughs> look at these things. Oh, I can smell them from here. They stink. They don't smell good. My God. Look at this one. Whoa. Look at these things. What do they say? <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Hip, 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 hip. <laughs> I think I can make some headway with these guys. You think so? I think that you guys you down here, you Texans just rubbing them the wrong way. Maybe let's get them in the trailer first, then let you try to make some headway with them. <laughs> yeah, no, I just think all these years you've been, the tusk, the tusk, you've been approaching this all wrong. See the white sticking out on each side of his nose? Oh, that's the tusk? Those are knife sharp. Look at them. Look at them sticking up. Well, that's the one I want to feed. He looks hungry. He looks like he's the uh, most hungry. Those yeah, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll keep it back. Those are razor sharp. Okay. So. Yeah. Here you go, buddy. I just want to be a friend. You want a granola bar? We'll give it to him. <laughs> <laughs> he looks scary. <laughs> Jesus. I'm from Canada. I came to make peace. I don't want to hurt you. I just came to pump concrete and feed you granola bars. <laughs> Jesus! Can I just sit up there? <laughs> I, I'm gonna turn this situation around right now once I get my gloves on. Hey, buddy, I got you this banana. Oh, no, it broke. Oh, no. Mm. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> 
There you go, buddy. There we'll go. We'll go down here where it's safer. That makes more sense. I don't think I do want <laughs> the best barbecue in, in the area would you say call it the best barbecue in texas but for for a good solid barbecue meal it's a good solid this is a good spot it's a good solid rudy's country store yeah, what, they have it on Ian, what are you doing apparently this is how you're supposed to do it where did you learn that on tiktok on instagram <laughs> <laughs> wow it's like a mating call or something <laughs> Is Ian still awake? Oh. No, he's out. So highlight of the trip. Well, trip for me, highlight of the, the three days. What was um, the best thing we did? Man, honestly, that clear hose was kicking our butt. Yeah. And to be able to finally get it together and pull it off and use it. In the 11th hour. In the 11th hour. I thought it wasn't gonna happen. I, it, it was, I was getting a lot of doubt. Yeah. But we did it. I, I, that's, that's kind of my highlight. For me, the pigs, never seen the pigs before the hogs, it's pretty pretty deadly. I like the hogs. The clear hose is a close second. Actually, you know what might be second for me was seeing slick pack actually work. <laughs> no, honestly. That and the, and the Chris Calhoun stuff, I don't know what that Yeah, was. that's the super primer. The bottle. Finally determining that the problem is, in fact, our mix. Our concrete mix has funky sand and doesn't work with gel primers, but it works quite well with uh, with Jeff's stuff, so I think that was, that was one of the highlights, too. Right. But we will be back next year. We'll come back. We'll do some more. There's a few things that we didn't didn't cross off the list. I'd ask Ian what his favorite thing was, but I think his favorite thing was napping. I think he needs a nap. He's napping. Yeah. Should we draw a mustache on him? Maybe. Jiffy marker. I got some, some paint markers. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back before then. We'll see each other again in Las Vegas for January. World of Concrete. January World of Concrete. We'll be back down here next year. Jeff will probably be back up to Vancouver. And uh, oh, maybe Elias might get you a, a plane ticket. Oh, for the open house? The 16th. I don't know that my wife would let me. Oh, and then you get if I case, anybody ever come down to Texas for one night? No, no, you could do two in one night. I could do it. I've, uh, been, I've, I've flown to Wisconsin for one night. Well, that was yeah, four hours. But one night, but, but if you're in Texas, you might, you're going to have to stay a couple of days. Yeah, no, that's true. Yeah, it'd have to be two nights. Yeah. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. See how it goes. Until next time. Lock the hubs in, stay safe, stay hydrated. Definitely stay hydrated, it's really hot here. <laughs> Keep on pumping. Next two weeks, we pumping the videos out. We got, I think I've got like 12 hours of video that I have to get through. Jeff's probably got a couple, at least a couple. Look, yeah. the we got a hog video and the prime outs. The yeah, prime a couple bangers. So. so I might I might post up more often than usual just to, just to pump them out. Because there's a lot. And don't forget to check out some of the stuff on your Instagram reels and TikToks. You've got some hot videos on TikToks right now. we got a TikTok we posted up just over 24 hours ago. It's already a half a million views. Hey, yeah. It, uh, tick -t TikTok likes what we do. TikTok is also uh, a little bit of a hooligan platform. So it kind of speaks to, to what we got up to on this trip. <laughs> so... Until next time, keep on bumping over and out from Texas, from Dallas, Texas. Somebody just woke up. What do you want to say? Oh, game on. What was your favorite thing on the trip, Ian? Pigs. Pigs? The hogs, the right? Hogs. Yeah, the hogs were awesome, right? I knew he'd say that. Yeah, pigs. Thumbs up for pigs. The fish just jumped. Is that uncommon? Is that what I'm, I keep hearing? There's a fish that just jumped right there. Yeah, they jumped on that. I'm from the city. <laughs> I get all excited when I see a fish jump. Man, oh man. Jesus, <laughs> they're everywhere. So you throw a rod in here, how long does it take to pull one out? Oh, it just depends. Can you keep them or is it all catch and release? Uh, no, I eat them. Oh, he lays right there.
He'll come up and nab. Uh, I'll have the parch oil. He'll come up and eat him. Poor little spider. <laughs> you may make it. Yeah, yeah, they actually float. He's kind of running across the water. You, sir, become a fishing lure. <laughs> you made it. I made it. Only the strong survive. Y'all have dirt daubers? Dirt? Dirt daubers. Never heard of them, unless you call them something different. Is that a fish then? Well, dirt daubers, mud They're daubers. They're everywhere, man. So they, they take the mud and they make their nests. They look like a little wasp. Oh, yeah. Basically. But when they make their nest, when they put their larva in there, they catch spiders and they put they put them in there with them. So the the larva has something to eat when it, as it gets bigger. It, what kind of is it like an insect or a critter that's built in those? It looks like a wasp. You know, a wasp, you know, a wasp got a stinger. Oh on the yeah, back so end. it builds that, and then it grabs the spiders and throws them in there. Uh huh. Yeah. Because we've got like mud wasps that build like nests similar to that, but I would guess it's the same thing. Sometimes they get. They'll have a dud. So the shells are the larva? Yeah, that's part of, that was what was the larva. Which is already hatched and emerged. It, and kind of looks like it. You're looking for spiders? Yeah. This one hadn't, okay, this one hadn't been opened. They make an absolute mess of your house. Like our house is white. Yeah. And they put, they put, they make mud nests, you know, these, this mud is, and there's no way to deter them. It's just mm -mm. country living. Yeah, you just gotta deal with them. So that's the spiders. This one's kind of old and crusty, but it. But yeah. So this is where we're staying. What's the area called, Jeff? This is uh, Lake Nocona. Right on the lake, own dock, boat ramp right next door. Tons of fish in the lake. Lake Nocona. What's the name of this place on Airbnb? I can find it and, and insert a link. Yeah, I'll screenshot it and insert a link. But a sweet little, yeah. sweet little setup, right? Oh yeah. It's very, very romantic for Ian and I. <laughs> I don't know how it was for you, but it was great for me. <laughs> yeah, I know this is a nice little setup. So you get when you get the proper Texas tour guide. You got to get a native. Dex, Jeff's Travel Adventures, Muddy Feet Travel Adventures. And you, you, when you come back next, I'll have one of those big limo vans. <laughs> the big windows. Uh, no, I want to see a double-decker tour bus. Yeah, oh yeah the open top. Yeah, open top. Yeah, like in London. Oh, the neighbors would love that. Beautiful.